What's up, guys? This is your daily energy reading. The overall energy... No, that's not what this is today. This is your daily twin flame update. I'm sorry, I do daily energy readings for Instagram and Facebook. So add me on Instagram and Facebook if you would like to be connected to those as well. Today's message was about healing. But this overall message, this twin flame update, I did it a bit different. I First row was an update on the Divine Masculine. Second row was the update on the Divine Feminine. I did them separately this time because I want to cover the partnership. Two separate individuals, both going through journeys of wholeness, both going through journeys of balance. So I wanted to check on both individuals, you know, as a partnership, as the person that, you know, that, that we're coming together with. So I did it separately, but I'm going to do the reading together. The overall energy, we have Mercury. Interesting how Mercury was just in retrograde, and now we have Mercury, open communication. Get a weight, off, a weight off your chest, speak up with love, and be heard. So, what I'm and this is um, for both energies, um, I'm getting this, and it's a call to action right under there. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. This is the masculine or feminine. I, I want to say the masculine, though. This is the masculine in the energy of... Okay, what do I want? Um, and I'm going to do them separately because this is also the feminine energy as well. This is the person who identifies the masculine, asking himself or herself, what do I want? And expressing that to the people that he would like to be with or consider being with, he or she. Again, sorry about the gender references. Um, but for the feminine energy I'm getting, this is what do I want? How do I bring myself back to a state of wholeness? What do I want? What fulfills me? What brings me back to a state of fulfillment and happiness within myself? Then we have, for the masculine overall energy, the Four of Swords and the Hermit. Um, the Star and the Moon, right under there. Interesting. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I wish you got... Um, I, know I might change my cameras around so you guys can start seeing this. The Star and the Moon, Soul and Luna, which is a partnership. This is the masculine wants to know, the masculine is ready for union, ready for a connection with his partnership with the light, with the person that brings him light, a new phase of life that's more filled with light instead of darkness. But with Soul and Luna being right under there, it's super perfect with the star and the moon. He's in the energy or he or she, this masculine is in the energy of coming together in union with the person that brings them light, that brings them healing, that brings them wholeness and happiness. The overall energy for the feminine, feminine, we have the nine of wands and the tower. You know, overcoming major changes um, right under there. We have the king of Pups, which is balance and the Knight of fire. But overcoming these changes that, you know, happen in the feminine's life, causing some sort of battle. But the feminine is like, okay, how can I overcome this obstacle? How can I bring myself back to a state of wholeness as well? What brings me fulfillment and happiness? Excuse me. So for birth, both energies, we have Saint German, karmic releasing or karma releasing. Move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. Perfect explanation of what both divine masculine and feminine are going through. You know, moving past the old, releasing karmic relationships and patterns, moving beyond drama, moving beyond drama of the partnership, internal drama, conflict, and coming to a place of wholeness and peace within their lives. Making room for positive energy, making way for positive energy, and creating a path that leads to light, that leads to wholeness, that leads to healing, instead of being in negative energy and bring in repeating karmic patterns. So both masculine and feminine is working on wholeness, which is a good place to be because it's the hump right before, you know, it's the storm right before the star, the sun, you know? You bring yourself back. You work on bringing yourself back to a place of peace. So this is a good energy for both the masculine and the feminine to be in. But for the masculine, and it's really hard to tell these stories card by card or, you know, each by each because the masculine is going through making a decision on who his feminine or his or her partner is. We have the high priestess is the first one clarified by the eight of swords and the five of cups was with this on the bottom of the deck when I pulled this clarification card. So there is a partner that he or she had that he or she feels trapped in. 
So let's just say he. It can be she too, but I'm just, you know, I'm tired of saying he or she. So the first partnership the masculine is going through is entrapment. It's like, you know, even though he's still considering to be with this person, he feels trapped in it. There's something about the situation is binding. It could be, you know, on what binds us to a partnership? Marriage, kids, um, history. It's something about this partnership that feels binding to him. So it's like, you know, yes, I, and again, this is people that he wants to be with. So it's not just all negative. Yes, yeah, something binding about it. He may love this person, but at the same time, it's like, I feel obligated. It's almost like an obligation to be with this person. And that's how usually people feel about karmic relationships. You've been with that person for so long. You've built with this person. You may have marriage. You may have gotten married. You may have kids. So you get in this energy sometimes when, before you release karmic partners of, man, you know, I feel obligated to this person. So the masculine could be feeling an obligation towards the karmic. Then we have the Empress. Someone who's loving, nurturer. The Empress is like Libra energy as well, but a lover, a nurturer, um, a creator. And the masculine feels like this is his partner. And the reason why I feel that way is because the king and the queen of wands came out. So it's like, yeah, I'm in, you know, I'm in this partnership that I feel binded to, that I feel bound to, that I feel trapped in. But there is this other potential partner with the Empress. And I feel like this is the person that matches my vibe. You know, I'm the king of wands. Leo energy doesn't have to be a Leo. And you're the queen of wands. We match each other. We belong together. And the thing about it is, it's been stale though. You haven't been taking action and he's ready to move forward. He hasn't been, it's been stale. It's been stale. Why? Because he don't know what to do, but he's ready to move forward with this partnership. There's forward movement um, because he's just ready to come together with the person that brings him balance, peace, and wholeness, which leads us to this next. We have the temperance card. Clarified by the Lovers and the King of Cups. All three of these cards signify balance. All three of these cards sing about, sing, signify divine partnerships. All three of these cards is about peace. It's about wholeness. It's about your other half, you know, well, you know, your individual whole person is, you know, in yourself. But it's about your other partner that you want, you want to build with and create with. And that brings you peace and wholeness in your life and fulfillment. You know, brings you back to a place of oneness with yourself, oneness with the universe, oneness with God. So it's like the divine masculine really yearns for peace, yearns for wholeness, yearns for completion in the partnership. Um, but he still doesn't know what to do. We have the two of swords and the, um, come on. I don't want to tear up my card. You see me struggling over here? We have the Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups. There's a decision that needs to be made. Which one? Because maybe there is no pressure externally, but internally he's pressured because he's ready for that next phase of life. So which one do you choose? The one that you're obligated with or the one that you see your future with or the one that you feel like is your soulmate, your other half, your twin flame, your partner that brings you peace. Which one of these will bring you peace and wholeness? Which one of these um, should you be with? Yeah. Yep. Which one of these is my divine partner? The one that I thought was and I started building with? You know, young as a young man or woman, or the one that I see my future with, which one is my divine partner? Which one brings me peace? Which one brings me harmony? Which one brings me to a place of wholeness? He don't know. There's a seven of cups and a two of swords. I simply don't know. I can't move forward because I simply don't know. Then we have, lastly, the Queen of Wands, clarified 
by the Five of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Who do I hold on to? Who do I run to? Who's going to be by my side no matter what? Who's going to stand up for me? Who's going to be uplifting positive energy in my life? Who am I more attracted to? And not just physically, but internal and external attractiveness. Who adds to me? Who's going to be my ride or die? Who's going to stand up for me and be by my side? You know, it's just who do I hold on to? It's still in the sense of energy. It's still energy of who do I choose? Because I have to lose one to win the other. But I want to, it's like, you know, the four of swords. I wish I could hold on to both, but you can't, but you can't hold on to both because if one is the high priestess and one is the empress, they're both, you know, feminine energies, one with themselves, um, women, queens, how do I, at the highest regard, and they don't put up with it, you know, they're not going to put up with both of them being in your life. They want, you know, you have to choose one. This is the energy I'm getting. They won't put up with anything less. So masculine has his hand full, um, making a decision, wants to, you know, communicate his love and feelings towards the person that he wants to be with, the people he wants to be with, but stuck because, you know, he has to release and move beyond drama. He has to release these karmic patterns and these karmic partnerships in order to move forward, but he feels binded to this karmic partner and bound to this karmic partner. And yet he wants to create, he wants to come together and be one with his feminine because she brings him peace. It's just, you know, hard. It's a very hard decision to make. He doesn't know which way to go. And, you know, it could be societal pressures. It could be pressures of thinking, you know, things that were supposed to be one way when it wasn't. There's so many things going on in his mind that, you know, would keep him from making a decision. But at the same time, if he wants to get to his place of peace and wholeness, a decision must be made. Okay, so now let's check on the feminine. The feminine, again, overcoming this obstacle, something changed in his or her life. And so she's in the energy of, you know, this last hump of overcoming this obstacle and carrying the burden to completion. So we have the lovers clarified by the five of, come on. Sorry about that ring light. The lovers clarified by the five of pentacles. And I use my... Monaro sexual deck, um, erotic deck. So hopefully you aren't offended. It's you're not really showing that much anyway. So the feminine is in this energy of loss, you know, feeling lack, feeling a lack of wholeness in his or her life. It it could be internally and externally. It doesn't even have to be solely focused on the divine partnership. It could be internally as well. The feminine wants to find balance and wholeness within herself and overcome from losses, overcome from the things that she's lost. It could be financially, it could be any type of resource, place, people, place, a thing, and it could be in the partnership as well. Wanting to be back into a place of wholeness in her, his or her life and fulfillment. Then we have the Queen of Water, clarified by the Fool. Look at that 6-9 at the bottom. Of course, it's Cancer Energy, but look at that 6-9. It's, it's having faith, a restoration of faith. You know, this loss, this lack that she's been through, this twin flame journey, internal and external unification of the dualities um it, it has been tough on our feminines i don't maybe it's been tough on the masculines too people who embody the masculine energy but for real for real the feminines have been through so much and so this feminine is in the energy of rest, rest, restoring her faith is her faith restoring faith in a process restoring faith in herself restoring belief that even all of this is coming together, or that all of this is real. A restoration of oneness and wholeness within herself. A restoration of resources, a restoration of stability in her life, a restoration of a partner. A lot of feminines have not been in other partnerships. 
because they have been focused on their divine partnership. So it's a feeling of loss of time wasted of, you know, things not going the way that the feminine expected them to go. So she's feeling lost. No, she's feeling like it's time to recover from losses and to become one again and whole again. Then we have the four fire clarified by now I got these cards they fail everywhere come on Ashley a lot of them came out here um, I think this is here and this is here clarifying that and this is here and this is here um, yeah the feminine desires union, a new phase of life. The other one gets into the pinnacles over here too. The feminine desires more life. The four of fire is unification, it's achievements, it's fulfillment, it's happiness, it's wholeness. And it's clarified by the ten of uh, pinnacles because that brings you to a new phase of life. This is what the feminine want. Restoration. Restoration. And and tenfold the number 10 is like when you see number 10 multiply multiple times in a reading and, and i've only seen it once here but when you see the, yeah most it's two tens right by each other it's three tens right but 10 10 10 right here because you also have this 10 of um pentacles here 10 of pentacles here 10 of cups here 10 10 10 is like amplified unit wholeness amplified achievements amplified um this new phase of life amplified the feminine understands that wholeness is important. The feminine understands that, you know, unification of her divine masculine and feminine energies internally brings wholeness and it brings completion in a whole new level. And then coming together with the partner amplifies that as well. It's double completion, double the wholeness and coming together as one, amplifying its power, amplifying its fulfillment, happiness, and influence. That is what the feminine wants. That's what this restoration and faith is about. This is what this entire journey is about. Becoming one. Becoming, enter this new phase of life and being whole. It's like been so difficult, you know, this nine of wands has been so, it's been challenging. It's difficult. It's, it has, it's hurt her or him. It's been painful. And it's like, oh man, you give so much because you want so much more. It's like, you know, the feminine is ready to embody everything that she gave up everything for. You know, recover from losses, recover her life, recover her heart. To enter this new phase of life that's more filled with happiness and fulfillment and wholeness and achievement and purpose. Um, then we have the seven of air. Clarify by the sun in the Ten of Cups. This is fulfillment. This is happiness. This is energy, vitality. This is, you know, the sun after the rain. The sun after a period of darkness. For the Seven of Air, I'm resonating with the moon. I'm resonating with uncertainty. I'm resonating with deception. And the reason why I'm resonating with deception is because some and sometimes in this twin flame journey, things can be going exactly how they should. But it can be deceiving because you feel like they aren't. You know, when things are falling apart, they're falling apart so that things can fall together. But sometimes it just feels like everything is falling apart. So it's like regaining clarity after a period of feeling like you've been falling apart. Again, the feminine is restoring herself, you know, in the energy of restoration, the energy of returning to wholeness and coming together with the partner, but more so internally, you know, within themselves, within herself, returning to wholeness. So it's like, you know, overcoming this deception that everything has been falling apart when really they're falling together because the divine is on your side. Everything is falling, coming together. In a reading that I had, I think earlier today, it was like, 
you know, divine is on your side. Divine intervention and divine is at play. So if it looked like it was falling apart, if you look like your life has been falling apart, feminine, your life is falling together. You have to release those karmic releasings as well. Maybe you were holding on too tight to something. Maybe you you needed to really push control whatever it is it's moving it's making room for good energy it's making room for wholeness it's making you room for union internally and externally putting you in a place to partner with your masculine as he prepares to make this decision and then it's not just about his decision you know a lot of times like the masculine feels like well we make it seem like the masculine has the power all the power and the one that makes a decision who he wants to be with the feminine has to want to be with the masculine as well so it's like putting you in a position to be able to say yes or put you in a position to even be ready for a partnership of this magnitude you have to find wholeness and rest restoration within yourself before you come together as a partner but with this mask, the sun is, I'm getting masculine energy here. And with the ten of cups, I'm getting family energy here. Maybe you feel like things fell apart, but things are coming together. It's, it's coming together. Clarity is coming. You may not have no clue everything that the masculine had to go through. Or you may not even have understood um, the process fully. You've been deceiving yourself or you may have been deceived by the masculine because he hasn't been open with you as well. But things are coming together. You have the sun. You have the ten of pentacles twice. So you're entering this new phase of life. Keep the faith, though, feminine. Keep the faith. Return yourself to work on yourself and heal yourself and come back to a place of wholeness. But know that everything is working together for your good. Then we have the ten of earth. Again, Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the, look at her, she a boss. She a boss, like what? Feminine about to be a boss. You're a boss. Ten of Earth, clarified by the Judgment card, the Three of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Six of Cups. There's Judgment. Let's talk about these one by one. So again, we're talking about the ten of earth entering this new phase of life. Let's let's talk about what this new phase of life look like. Because you got it here, then you got it here. So we already became whole within ourselves here. We already entered a new phase of life, union of your individual dualities here. Then now we're working on overcoming this deception in your family life re returning to wholeness with the masculine the sun re is, resonates with the masculine returning to a place of wholeness and fulfillment in your family life as well so now we're talking about the partnership bringing to coming to a new phase of life with your divine partner well what does this look like let's start with judgment first of all it's going to happen why with the judgment card i resonate with divine intervention divine guidance divine helping hand the divine is working with you to bring this together. This new phase of not, you know, twin flame journeys, this is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, amplified. This is God. This is your angels, your ancestors, your guides working with you to bring this together because it's important. Because when you're in a twin flame journey, it's not just about you. It's about the people that you were creating and coming together to help as well. The hope that you're restoring to other people's lives as well. The insight and clarity, the bread that you, you, you bring forth, the enlightenment. When I say bread, I mean enlightenment. This is what you were created to bring together to help other people, to show them the way. So, of course, the vine is at play because this is a divine assignment. If Twin Flames is not just for Joe Schmo. Twin Flame is for people who seek the light, for people who want to live out their purpose and who have been chosen to do so. Then we have Three of Swords, clarifying. Again, I'm sorry that I keep saying this in my readings. And I don't mean to apologize, but I'm resonating with a lot of stuff happening during Libra season. I need to look up the moon cycles and, you know, what's going on in cosmos and, you know, what's going on with the planets um, as as it pertains to astrological influence. Um, because Libra season is going to be some powerful changes being made. There's going to be some powerful changes being made during Libra season, bringing these partnerships together. Then we have Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. 
This is a breakthrough in your a relationship from the past. You already know who your divine partner is. Feminine. He know who you are too. This is a breakthrough. Divinely led breakthrough happening during Libra season. Bringing you two together. I wonder what that's going to look like for me and other people. Then we have the Knight of Earth. Clarified by the two of wands and the high refine. When you two come together, it's going to be time to work. You know, these divine partnerships are not just about love and fulfillment and, oh, my God, I'm with my divine partner, my ego this and my ego that. It has nothing to do with the ego. It's about work. It's about light work. It's about creation. It's about purpose. It's about uplifting others, showing others the way, and living a divinely led life. But that comes with responsibilities. That comes with work. But coming together and working on... Um, your future, working on marriage in a traditional sense, working on your visions together, coming together and working on your visions so that um, you can manifest new beginnings and a new life together. Coming together as one, put merging your visions as one, and um, coming together and making it happen as a unit instead of individually as you know that you're in individual energies right now but once you're together that changes when two becomes one this reading was brought to you by my book the personification of beauty i wish you all love light and more life search me ashley giller on amazon you will not be disappointed by any of the reads that i have on there as well i've gotten all positive feedback um, if you want to learn more about the Twin Flame journey, The Power of I Am is a great read as well um, that I wrote. Anyway, what a great reading for the masculine and feminine. If you resonate this, I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment, please. Um, YouTube has been, I feel, I almost wanted to quit because the energy, I feel like I'm fighting against massive energies. You know, YouTube, Google will not let me do ads for some reason. I've never did anything tricky. I've never cheated on it. I don't know why, but they won't let me do ads. I tried to create an ad account and it said something about payments or something. I'm like, what? Even my books on Google, Google Books, I have my books on there and I keep trying to get my payments released and they won't release my payments. And I'm like, what is going on? People bought my book. I deserve my, you know revenue from that anyway so i'm fighting a lot of negative energy i'm fighting a lot of i feel like energetic forces that's keeping me from reaching views keeping me from entering new levels and other channels are not experiencing that so it's kind of irritating and i almost wanted to quit so help me out like share comment and you know let's fight this energy together especially if you like and enjoy my readings anyway i wish you love i wish you light i wish you more life peace